A Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is a description of the distribution of kinetic energy of particles in a gas. And this is most commonly modelled in the form of a graph. So let's have a look at that graph. On the y-axis, we normally label the proportion of molecules. And on the x-axis, we are considering kinetic energy. And the shape of the graph will look something like this. So what does this graph tell us? The first thing is to note that no molecules have zero kinetic energy. Secondly, the peak of my curve suggests that most molecules will have a medium kinetic energy. And finally, a small number of molecules will have a high kinetic energy. The key point here is that a gaseous substance at any given temperature has a distribution of kinetic energy in its particles, they do not all have the same kinetic energy. In IB chemistry, we need to use this graph to try and explain changes in rate of reaction in different conditions. So there's one extra feature we can add to this graph before considering that. We know that for a successful collision to occur, and therefore a reaction to occur, molecules must have a minimum amount of kinetic energy that we call the activation energy. So on this graph, I'm going to add the activation energy on the x-axis here. This means that any molecules falling underneath the curve to the right-hand side of that dotted line will have the activation energy required for a successful collision. So let's consider what happens to the area of that shaded part of my graph in different conditions. First of all, let's consider an increase in pressure in my gas or alternatively an increase in concentration. If I increase the pressure or concentration of my gas, what I'm actually doing is increasing the number of molecules in a unit volume. So let's draw another line on my distribution to represent that increased pressure or concentration. The graph is the same shape, it's just higher up because there are now a greater number of molecules per unit volume. And if we look now at the shaded area to the right of the dotted line, it has actually increased significantly, meaning that more molecules now have the required activation energy so I would expect to see an increased rate of reaction. Let's now go back to the original curve and consider how an increase in temperature would affect rate of reaction. If, if I increase the temperature of my molecules, what we're actually doing is increasing the average kinetic energy of those molecules. So I'd expect to see my graph shift to the right something like this. Because that curve is being shifted to the right, it's going to be squashed down a bit. But if I now look at the area to the right of the dotted line, I can see again that the number of molecules with the activation energy has increased. Let's finally consider how using a catalyst affects the shape of this graph. Well, using a catalyst doesn't change the number of molecules nor does it change the kinetic energy of molecules. What it does do is decrease the activation energy. So let's mark a new activation energy on my graph. And by decreasing the activation energy, I can now see that the shaded area to the right of my dotted line has increased. So once again, more molecules have the required activation energy, and I would expect to see an increase in the rate of reaction. Let's now summarise the key points from this video. Firstly, a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution describes the kinetic energy of particles in a gas. The curve shows that the particles have a distribution of kinetic energy, not identical kinetic energies. The graph looks something like, looks something like this. You will need to be able to sketch this graph 
and consider how it changes when we increase concentration or pressure, increase temperature, or maybe use a catalyst. Hopefully this video is of some help.